I'm Meiji, a first year student at a certain high school, and I'm a member of the student council. For the student council, the period from January to February is particularly hectic. One reason for the busyness is the changeover of officers. I'll do my best as the new student council president, following in Milan's footsteps. <laughs> You'll be fine, Haruka. Just take it easy. Having two of the most beautiful girls in school together is quite a sight. Milan, the former student council president who was in her second year, despite her casual way of speaking, she consistently ranks at the top academically. She's a gyaru in appearance, popular even outside of school, and actually works as a model. So why did she join the student council? Being in the student council means you get to befriend teachers and wear whatever you like. Plus, I actually enjoy this kind of stuff. As she said, Milan is well received by the teachers and is proactive in school events. Then there's Haruka, who is talking with her. Haruka is a classmate of mine. Haruka joined the student council around the time of the cultural festival last year. She's what you'd call a high-class beauty. She's beautiful, academically excellent, and excels in both academics and sports. Her personality is gentle, and it's rumored that she receives love letters almost every day. She's rumored to be from a wealthy family. But why did you join the student council? I wanted to be close to someone I admire. I'd never met someone so cool before. It seems that the person she admires is Milan, and Haruka and Milan often talk together. As expected from someone who admires Milan, Haruka takes initiative in student council work. This dedication was recognized and in the recent election, Haruka was chosen as this year's student council president. Uh, by the way, I'm in charge of general affairs. There's no election for that, and my tasks are the typical miscellaneous chores. It's going to be fine with Haruka as the new president, and Eiji here too. Eiji-san, you've been in the student council since the beginning of the year, haven't you? Yeah, so you'll handle the transition, right? Don't slack off, Milan. Make sure to do the handover properly. All right, all right. Let's do the handover properly this Saturday. Well, welcome. Make yourselves comfortable. Um, is this Eiji-san's room? I was the one who insisted on a proper handover. So why are we doing this at my house? It's fine. My mom let us in too. I was surprised as well, but is this really okay? Eiji and I are childhood friends. My house is just around the corner. We've been close since we were kids, so that's why he helps me with the student council. It's more like Milan forced her way in. I still remember being dragged to the student council room on the third day after enrolling. <laughs> was that the case? Yes, it was. Thanks to that, we have two pretty girls in my room now. Exciting, right? Damn it! I admit, they're both cute, but... Haruka, look closely. When Eiji's embarrassed like that, it's a good time to ask for things. He'll usually agree to almost anything. What are you teaching her? Oh, just how to handle general affairs. Don't teach her that! Got it, I'll remember. Don't remember it! <laughs> <laughs> Stop messing around and focus on the handover! Oh, A.G., you're so impatient. All right, Haruka, let's go through the handover. Even though A.G. mostly knows, we're doing a review for the sake of it. From then on, Milan occasionally made jokes, but the handover was carried out properly. Handling school events is something we've been doing, so next year should go smoothly as well. But... The most challenging part for Haruka will be budget negotiations, which I haven't done. I've heard about that. Is it really that difficult? Most clubs don't cause too much trouble, but there are some that submit ridiculous budgets. So you have to compare with last year and check price appropriateness to finalize the budget. I see. I'll support you during the budget negotiations, so let's work hard together. Okay. Before the budget negotiations got serious, it would be a good idea to research in advance. Oh, it's already this late. We should be wrapping up soon. 
What? It's already past 8 p.m. AG, make sure to take Haruka to the station. Following Milan, I ended up accompanying Haruka to the station. Even though it's just taking her to the station, being alone with Haruka is nerve-wracking. I would like to ask you something, but are Eiji-san and Milan-san dating? Huh? No, no, no. They seem to be on good terms, and you didn't call Milan-san any better, right? We're childhood friends, and we've been together for a long time. It's kind of cheating. If you're Haruka-san, I don't think Milan would mind if you called her something. No, Eiji-san. Miran-san uses the San name instead. But I prefer the San name, so I'm also happier when the San name is used. Uh, that one? Haruka-san? We are members of the same student council, so it's no good, right? Um... Wow, I don't know why. It takes a lot of courage to call Haruka-san out. It seems like I've caused you trouble. However, I would appreciate it if you would think about it. Uh, yeah. Well, we're in the same group, so please stop calling us that name someday. It was just because we were members of the same student council, but I couldn't get Haruka's smile out of my head. Time has passed. In the student council room, members of the student council begin budget negotiations with various members. During the story, the meeting is summarized as a digest. Despite this, the time has come for budget negotiations. Club activities that ask for the same amount as usual and club activities that ask for a little extra fee. We check for discrepancies with the budget expected for each department, hold meetings, and make adjustments in consultation with the student council treasurer. Those days continued. Mr. Treasurer, there was no problem with the soccer club's budget as per the request. Let's make a final confirmation at the next meeting. Yes, understood, student council president. As expected of you, Haruka-san, your checks are quick. On the other hand, Milan was just watching, so he was fiddling with his smartphone. Hey, you're doing your best. Miran, please help me a little. If you help, they won't take over. Besides, budget negotiations are done by the chairman, treasurer, and general affairs. Totally, following Haruka-san's example. That... Huh... Okay, this is it. We only have a little bit left of today's quota, so let's both do our best! Ah, oh, thank you. That's right, I don't have any meetings today. Good work! It's the Second Like Music Club. I don't think you have a meeting today, but... Okay, you're free now, right? It's a pain, so let's do it quickly. Don't be so selfish! Here's the application form. Haruka-chan! Let's finish this quickly and let's play together. It's after hours. Come at the scheduled time. Oh? It's off hours. There will be no budget negotiations today. <laughs> Haruka-san, are you okay? Yes, I was a little surprised, but... Eiji-san saved me again. Again? Haruka-chi, go talk to Eiji. There's no one in the classroom right now. Haruka-san and I moved to an empty classroom. Whew, I've calmed down a bit. What happened earlier was sudden. Anyone would be surprised. But Eiji-san responded resolutely. Well, uh, I'm used to things like that. Disputes often occur during school events. It was the job of the general affairs staff to deal with them. It's the same as that time. Did something happen back then? Eiji-san, do you remember how you helped me during the school festival? Um... I guess you didn't notice after all. During the school festival, I was forcibly picked up by someone from another school. So you helped me when I was having trouble saying no. I wanted to thank you, but you went somewhere right away. Ah! Now that I think about it, I remember dealing with him by telling him that the guy from another school was terrible at picking up girls. Was that girl Haruka-san? Eiji-san takes the initiative when someone is in trouble. He was really cool. I joined the student council because I admired that figure. Ha Haruka! <laughs> Everyone says that, but what I admired is... Eiji-san has always been working for someone. 
<laughs> That's why, Eiji san, I admire you. Haruka san, you look more beautiful than usual in the light of dusk. Yes, I am also talking about Haruka san. Ha Haruka! I've been curious about it for a long time. I. I can't say it well, but thank you again. Yes! Okay! Gee! Milan, were you watching? Congratulations, Harukachi! Thank you. It's all thanks to Milan san. <laughs> I've been talking to Harukachi for a long time. I'm glad it went well. Maybe the two of you used to talk a lot. Yes. I've been consulting with Eiji san for a long time. I've had a crush on you for a long time, so please take care of it. Of course. Thank you for your continued support, Haruka. Uh, Haruka. Yes. That's how I ended up dating student council president. She was really beautiful when she was smiling. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you like this video.